Hi YouTube friends, this is Brad. Today in this video we're going to repurpose this 100 year old wood into two strikingly beautiful shells. We're going to show you the process of applying a clear antique varnish to them, the brief decluttering process of making room for these shelves on our wall, and how we install them using wrought iron wall brackets. These DIY wood shelves were purchased at a place called DC. They sell some already finished reclaimed wood shelves, but mostly sell unfinished various size boards for your DIY wood shelves project. So this brush here is softer just to kind of clean up some of the dirt, but not to really distress it anymore. Get some cobwebs, dust off it, and then go with the wood. I could tell already if I had a nice thick brush, it would probably work better. So this is an oil-based polyurethane. I'm putting it on a little thicker, I think, than what it recommends. But I have to, to get in there, to get all the way in the grain. So I think I'm gonna have to start to feather this in. It's drying, which probably should be in a shaded area, but I don't wanna overthink this. And it says when you apply this, you should go in the direction of the grain, not to overbrush it, because you can trap air bubbles in there, which can give streaks. It's supposed to be fast drying, and dries in two hours. And then you're supposed to lightly go across it. So again, I'm probably applying way more than it suggests, but it's just sucking it in like crazy into this dry old wood. I love this stuff. It makes the wood just look beautiful. Again, I'm putting this on way thicker and brushing it in way more than they suggest, but it's working because there's so much texture here. It's soaking it in and going in these holes in the cracks. But again, don't let it go on the sides and that and sit there because then if that dries a little and then you put more on there to do the side, it can be a little bit of a different color there. You'll notice it. Because I've got so much here, we're gonna wait overnight. It says that then when it's dry, you're supposed to just lightly sand it and put another coat in it. I think I'm just gonna look at it tomorrow and determine if I want another coat. I just love the look of it right now. Instead of being uniform like shined crust, you have blotches if you go back over it with the brush at all. You have to stay in one direction and be uniform with it, or you'll get some of these blotches. I think we're going to have to go both ways to get it in, it looks like. All right, all the way down. So I have a similar sheen, I hope. So for two coats on these two pieces, it took over three quarters of this one pint can. Here's the front of the shelf you'll see when it's on the wall. There it is, you can see that there was some, I brushed it a little too vigorous and there was some air that got in there. And I think that's why they want you to just go one way with the grain. And they want you not to brush it briskly and use too much because you can get some air in there. And that's what that looks like evidently, but it doesn't bother me a bit. Again, I had to go real heavy with the stuff to get it in all the holes and just get it, you know, soaks into the wood so much. To make room for these shelves, I needed to declutter my pharmacy memorabilia collection. I had been storing it in this hutch out on our porch, which we also use as a fourth bedroom for our Airbnb guests when we rent our home. We inherited this hutch from our grandparents and it had a slight smoke smell that just would not go away. We decided to keep a digital picture of it and to donate it. This was a very stressful process for me, but I decided to follow my wife's decluttering advice. Actually, I don't know what to keep, what to get rid of, what to donate here. Name tags were from when I was an internist to working at other companies. Pharmacy student. I think I'm going to take pictures of that and donate it or throw it out. Same with old business cards, throw them out. Gotta let it go. This was my collection, so obviously I work in healthcare, and a lot of these are gifts, so I'm going to give this back to my mom who bought a lot of this and see what she wants back or what she wants to sell at a garage sale she's having. Then the rest of it that I don't want, I'll probably just donate. Oh, sure does. 
Okay, so now you got to do it forward so I can get my fingers under forward there. Forward like that, okay. I've got it. So okay. we got to hold it back a little so the door doesn't open. Are you right. okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, slow down. Yeah. Does this look dinky now? But it's heavy. There's a heaviness to it. Come here, Gilligan. Come here. So the thought is there's going to be a queen bed here and the headboard will be here. So if people are sitting up, they want to be able to sit up without hitting their head on the two shelves, right? We went nine inches over from each side level. So we have sort of a straight line where we're going to put the first shelf. Thinking there's a deep scan mode on here to pick up the stud. Right about here. Okay, so not in the stud here, but we're in the stud on this row. All right, that's just about where we want it, I think. Let's get our other shelf on. That's the side that goes out, but which one is on top, I don't care. This fall, after we're done doing Airbnb, we're going to paint this all white, except for like the, the beams and the wrapping on the top and the trim around the windows and the doors. We're going to leave that stained, but everything else is going to get painted white. So look at, think of this as being a white wall. It's a level. Okay. All right, go ahead and pop it off. I love it. It's just something about old wood like this. Four and a quarter. What? Four and a quarter. Actually, I think that's going to be... I'm glad we're in a stud. Yep, it's pine. Went right in. This has to be tight enough to keep it from sliding off. It's going to look awesome, Brad. I can't wait until it's painted. It's probably off by a sixteenth of an inch. Close enough. Let's just say it's perfect. Yes. Perfect. So now the thought is, is once the second shelf's up, is it too boxy? Um, so should we put a second shelf up or not? That's what we were intending to do, but I don't know, maybe not. You want me to hold it up for you to look? Mm -hmm. Can you not drop that? Yeah, okay. I think I got it. Okay, don't move it at all, just try to fix it. Okay. Why don't you take it down for now? We'll just keep one for right now. Okay. Do you like the elevation of the shelf? The height? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I do too. Yeah, I mean, for us, we're taller, but I mean, it looks I good do. there to me. Mm -hmm. Well, it was taller, shrunk an inch. Yeah, I like the little bit of color on it. I would recommend the Czar polyurethane product we used. And looking back from the start of this project, I want to mention it was definitely worth the pain of decluttering the space to make room for these DIY shelves. Please subscribe, like, and share this video, and thanks for watching.